Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to discuss different storage options for non-food items instead of stacking them on a shelf. Maybe this will help somebody. Stick around. So I'm uh, working on a on some hygiene preps here and I had a small credit from Walmart from a Christmas gift that didn't have a receipt from my parents. So anyway, it was only, I don't know, 16 or $17 of a receipt uh, that, of a gift card. So these are the items that I purchased today. And um, this is just some mouthwash, some soap, some Advil, uh, a couple small travel deodorants, this pop-up brush with a mirror, and uh, these VO5, uh, two-in-one conditioners uh, and then just regular shampoo and some wet ones and I figured it would be a good money spent to put towards preps also went to the dollar store and got these items from the dollar store this was all uh, one dollar so it was a little over ten bucks with cash it's ten items three toothbrushes uh, some razors hand sanitizer toothpaste uh, some uh, tampons and full full size deodorant uh, that you can get at the dollar store which is a much better deal than getting the travel sizes at Walmart and also uh, just one other note the dollar store sells this VO5 for one dollar but it's actually 75 cents at Walmart so it's very cheap and how many ounces 12.5 12.5 fluid ounces um, for 75 cents, which I think is a pretty good deal. Anyway, uh, the point of this video isn't to show the, the prep so much. Um, I'm actually going to be putting all this stuff together, and I'm actually, uh, I broke out the food saver, and what I'm going to be doing is taking a lot of this stuff out of its packaging, and I'm going to be making um, food saver bags. And the reason for that is if I can put all this stuff on the shelf, that's great, but it ends up tipping over, falling over, and I have an old dresser that we're not using, and I'm actually putting all my hygiene preps in the dresser. This is an old dresser I have in my basement, which I use for all non-food products, uh, hygiene products, first aid products, even some gear. So if you're at a yard sale or a flea market and you have room for this, this might be a better way to store your preps. Thanks. So I find that putting them in bags and food saver bags, then they'll lay down flat and I can stack them in the dresser. So um, I've done it before with making my MREs. I'm going to try it with some of these hygiene products and see how it works out. And I'll get you guys back involved when I get the food saver out and get some bags made up. I'm going to be adding products to this, uh, Q-tips and other things that I have in my preps. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what I got. All of this stuff today was around $25, $26, bucks, which you see on the table. Okay, so now I have two hygiene bags, uh, and I can choose to either put these in buckets uh, and just have a bucket uh, for just hygiene products or I can mix this in uh, with another bucket with maybe a little bit of food and have an, a bucket, five gallon bucket with all different kind of products in it with food and hygiene and whatever. Uh, this would be a bit much for a bug out bag I think um, but I think the contents in each bag would probably last three to five days easily um, and so I'm not uh, bagging everything right now. Uh, I am going to have some other stuff, but I did take stuff out of packaging to uh, make more room, and I'm just going to stack that in drawers with this stuff unless I find a kit or something to put them in. But if you have space issues, maybe putting stuff in the food saver bags uh, is a good idea for you. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. I just figured I'd throw it out there no big deal if it doesn't work for you uh, maybe it works for somebody and maybe it saves somebody some space all right guys thanks for watching and as always if you're not into preparedness you're preparing to fail mm -hmm.